guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my March favorites and I feel like I have quite a few things to talk about so let's just dive right into it. Starting off with face products. Um, during the month of March, mostly in the first half of March, I was really loving the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD um, foundation and I have the shade Nude Beige. Um, I did do a first impressions on this and I ended up really, really loving it, but it is a tad too dark and so I've been mixing it with my CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in Light Medium and these two put together is so perfect. I have like the hydration and dewiness of this with added coverage, but this helps make it slightly less dewy if that makes sense. So these two put together is like the most wonderful drugstore combo ever. I really, really have been loving these two. Um, I did notice that after a couple weeks of using this though, I started getting little breakouts right here. So I don't know if it was from that time of the month or if it was from this. So I'm going to continue to use this to figure it out. But overall, I love the way this makes my skin look and it really lasts a long time. And I just really, really recommend this foundation if you have dry to normal skin. My skin is really dry right here. And then otherwise, it's pretty much normal. I do get little dry patches here. But for for the most part it's normal besides around my mouth so this is a really really good foundation for that next I finally found the LA girl pro concealer in peach um, I've been kind of looking around ugh, around the local like clothing stores in my area that sell like you know very uh, affordable makeup like LA girl and City Color and Italia and like all those brands and I finally found a little clothing store that sells the peach shade of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I always always have always color corrected with the orange one if you've been watching me since the very beginning in my channel. I have always used the LA Girl orange um, color corrector and I really really wanted to try the peach one because the orange one is a little bit too dark for me and this one has been perfect. I've been loving this one a ton so I've been using this a lot and really Really, really loving it. Next, I've been really, really in love with this bronzer. This is the City Color. I feel like I'm stuttering. This is the City Color Matte Bronzer in Chestnut, and I also use this in that first. I also use this in my first impressions video um, where I use the LA Girl one and I can't get it open. And I've still been really loving this ever since I filmed that video. It's just a really nice bronzer shade. I have it on today and I just love the way it looks. It really warms up the skin. It's not too uh, orangey and it's not too cool tone and it's just a really nice color. So if you're around a light medium to medium skin tone, this is a really great bronzer. So, oh my gosh, I found the best under eye setting powder ever. This is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in the shade Petal. Um, mine is semi new, so I still keep it in the packaging. I don't know if anyone else does that, but with new-ish products, I still keep them in their packaging. Um, but this is the pinky shade, and it's just a little loose powder, and it is pretty small, but a little bit goes a really long way. Okay, so my camera stopped recording on me because I ran out of memory, but basically I was saying how much I love this setting powder. I feel like it blurs my pores. When I set my eye, I kind of bring it down a little bit, so I set my under eye and bring it down a little bit over here and I feel like it just smooths everything instantly and it's like literally made out of magical fairy dust because it just makes your under eyes look so smooth and brightened and it blurs the pores and I feel like even though it is a small container a little bit goes a very long way and you're only using it to set your under eye so I definitely would repurchase this when I run out because it's literally like new holy grail status I feel like it's the best under eye setting powder it's so good next I've been absolutely in love and obsessed with this Tarte blush in the shade party I did receive it for my birthday gift from Sephora and I have been in love with it ever since it's just such a beautiful kind of nudie pink I think it's perfect for all year round especially for spring and summer because it is pink but it's just so perfect and I really really love this they do sell it in the full size so if you do go through blush fast um, they do have the full size that you can purchase, but for now I'm just going to keep this one. It's amazing. It's my very first Tarte blush ever, and I'm just so in love with the formula, and it wears so, so long. Now, guys, I cannot make a favorites video without mentioning the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. It is so beautiful. So I do have a video of this, and I can link it down below, but basically it's an amazingly pigmented, metallic highlighter palette it is so pretty 
So I do have complete swatches and um, opinions about it on that video, but oh my gosh, they're just so metallic and beautiful. Like every swatch you see, it's so intense and metallic because they're just such creamy, beautiful quality. Um, I do have the shade Glow Getter on my cheeks today, and I really, really love that one. I did mention in my video that whatever highlighting brush you have, you definitely have to just barely put any because they're so intense and definitely tap it off because these do all have, I think Forever Lint doesn't have micro glitter, but basically all of them or almost all of them have little micro glitters throughout them. I do use the shade Kitty Cat the most. I don't know if you can tell, but it already has like a little dip in it, these two, because I use them so much. But you do get fallout and Kitty Cat's my favorite one and that one definitely gives me fallout right here at the end of the day. So you definitely have to tap off your brush to get off as much micro glitter as possible. But I can look past that because these are so metallic and beautiful. It's just excellent quality. Anastasia has one of the best highlighter formulas around and it's just gorgeous. Now on to lippies and then we are all done. So the first lippy I'm going to mention is by Bite Beauty. I did get this as a sample at Sephora and it is one of their matte cream lip crayons in the shade Pastille. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Pastille but it's a gorgeous mauve shade and I think this was like 100 points. And I thought that was a great deal because I've been wanting to try Bite Beauty so bad. And I've used this quite a few times this month, which is a huge favorite because I have so many lippies that every time I do my makeup, I'm using a different one. So if I use a lippy more than once in a month, it's a huge deal. And I've used this one quite a few times. I like this one particularly if I'm going out to eat. It is so creamy and matte, but it lasts really well. So I don't get the butthole lips. My lips don't get dry and cracked. I can go like this and it kind of, you know, it's creamy. So it revives itself and gets on the little parts that are missing. And I just really want to pick up more of these. I think this is so beautiful. And I love just the smell of these Bite Beauty lip products. I went to Sephora and smelled other ones and they smell amazing. I really want to pick up the shade Kale which is an Amuse Bouche lipstick. It's like a blackened green color, so gorgeous. And the other one I wanna pick up is, I forget what it's called, but it's a coral and it's in this same formula, the Matte Lip Crayons. So those ones I have my eye on next, but I have been absolutely in love with that one. I've also been really in love with bold, kind of tealish green lips, but I'm still trying out a couple products to see which ones are my favorites. So I will update you guys in my next favorites video which bold lip colors I've been loving. Um, so far I've been wearing the Sephora Matte Lip Cream in 29 Dark Forest the most, and I ended up returning it because it just would look like crap after 20 minutes, even though the shade was gorgeous. So I'm still trying out other bold lip colors and I'll update you guys later. But the other lip color I've worn quite a few times is the shade Persona, I think that's how you say it, by Baby Bat Beauty. I'm gonna leave the names of the lip products down below. But this is um, one of their brand new matte liquid lipsticks. So they recently came out with a matte liquid lipstick and it's so gorgeous. It's like a red, but it has orange tones in it. It's just so flattering, especially if you're doing a peachy look and you throw this one on as a bold lip to go with it. It's just so, so flattering. It's very long lasting. It's not uncomfortable. It's a thin formula. It smells good. I just highly recommend it and I'm definitely gonna wanna pick up other shades because I think their formula, they did really, really well. The other lip product I've been using a ton is a Laura Geller liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Beige Bite. It's such a beautiful nude shade. Looking at it in the tube, you would think it'd be maybe a little bit too light and peachy for my skin tone, but when it dries down, it gets a little bit darker and it's a, such a flattering nude. So if you're around my skin tone, don't be scared of this liquid lipstick color because it's super duper flattering on the lips. It's so pretty. These really last a long time too. I haven't found it to be cracky or gross or anything like that. Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in my last month's favorite, but I've been using these for quite a little bit and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's amazing. So guys, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and the lighting looks a little bit off while I'm filming. So when I edit, I really hope the lighting looks okay in the video. I apologize if it's not. It's pretty late in the day. I've been so busy with my kids. They've been getting pink eye off and on the past two weeks. Like one kid will get it and it will heal, then the next kid will get it, and then now it came back. So we've been dealing with that and it's been a little bit hard to film. I hope the lighting looks okay nonetheless. 
So please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I do videos twice a week, so I will see you guys then. And until then, have a great day slash night, everybody. And also, I want to say that my next video, I'm thinking of doing a festival look so like a Coachella music festival kind of look but I want to do it pretty simple so that way um, it's very easy to recreate I've seen gorgeous looks that take a lot of steps and they're well worth it because they're gorgeous but I personally kind of want to create one that's really easy to recreate so let me know what you guys think about that and I do also have two other tutorials coming up because I've had two t makeup tutorial requests that I definitely want to get up for you guys as well so with that all being said, have a good day slash night, everybody. Bye.